At just 15 years old, Zimbabwe's youngest motocross champ is taking the world by storm. And get this, she's a girl. Yeah, and by the way, she's been racing for about a decade. And in just a few weeks, she'll be attempting to uh, cross the finish line at a competition right here in Central Florida. New 69's Carolina Cardona met up with Tanya Muzinda, who is breaking the glass ceiling in motocross one race at a time. <laughs> At 15, Tanya Muzinda is not your typical teenager. She's a motocross champ. Most people, especially in Africa, they don't believe that you should be wasting your time in a sport like that. You should just be doing school. She was five years old when she got her first taste on a dirt bike back home in Zimbabwe. I got on the bike and I fell down and said I wasn't going back again. After some encouraging words, she got back on. Since then, her love for the adrenaline-fueled sport has only grown stronger. When you're riding and you see other competitors next to you and they're all fighting to be the first person to finish that race, and also because um, when you're jumping, just you feel like you can fly, you feel like you can do anything. She's preparing for her next race right here in Orlando before her next race at the Thor Winter Olympics at the end of the month in Alachua. I've done this race uh, before last year and I finished off in the top 20, but I feel like that time I wasn't ready enough. A sport that's taken her around Africa, Europe and the U.S., winning several competitions in a sport with only a handful of female athletes. I do feel like I get treated a bit differently. They actually put more effort into beating me because no one wants to be beaten by a girl. In 2017, Tanya made history at the HL Racing MX Masters Kids UK Championships. I remember being behind uh, the person who was in first position and I slowly went past him and I was surprised because I never thought that I'd end up in the top 10. She raced to the number one spot, becoming the first female racer to win a heat since the championship's inauguration in 2013. It was a big shock to me. I was so happy. My family and everyone was so happy. I'm proud to be a feminist dad and I'm proud to be called by my daughter's achievements. We should lead by example. Despite her success, she hasn't forgotten about the kids back home. I'm glad that she realized that at a, at a very young age and she could go out and help other kids. I know that not every child gets this opportunity, so I never take it for granted. In August, she paid school fees for 45 students with donations from fans and friends. I know the feeling, so I just don't want anyone to go through that. I had to stay at home because I couldn't go and race because I didn't have enough money. I think that everyone deserves a chance to do something that they love. Carolina Cardona, News 6 at 9. Such an inspiration, right? Yes, and her list of awards is lengthy, Goes including on on. Junior Sportswoman and Junior Sportsperson of the Year at Zimbabwe's National Sports Awards a few years ago. So lots in there. Yeah, <laughs> bronze medalist at the mm -hmm. British Master Kids Motocross International Racing Championship that draws more than 500 riders from all over Europe. So we'll be watching her. Oh, yeah. Yes. I mean, you already love her because she just has such a great personality and all the things she does, but then all the things she does for, for her family and, and for, for folks back in Zimbabwe. Boy, which yes. is so amazing.